Hey yo YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Momo from Doc Bobby Jacobs. And today I just want to share you all some new technique that I found. I mean, it's relatively new for me and some of you might already know, but then it turns out it was really easier for me to fade a hair. So I just want to share it. So, you know, I'm just jump right into the haircut. So as you can see, I created the initial guideline with the trimmer and now I'm balding out the hair with the foil shaver. So this is nothing different. You know, that's what I usually do as well. Okay, so the next step for me is no guard, level all the way open for your hair clippers. And I'm going up about an inch. So it's like a 2.5 centimeters away from the initial guideline. And notice how I can see the prominent initial guideline. Um, that's a good sign when it comes to fading. Because the better the guidelines are, the better you can focus on erasing the line later. So if you can't see those lines, you're good to go. All right, guys. So everything's neat so far so i'm gonna put number one guard lever all the way open and i'm just once again going up about an inch so yeah 2.5 centimeters guys and you know like i think consistency and being neat is the key for good fade because right now i'm going back and forth to make sure all the hair is being cut and now i can clearly see like three lines so far right the one in the bottom the initial guideline the one in the middle and the one on the top so that's a good sign so i don't fade up rather i'm just uh creating all the initial guideline first right so i'm putting number two guard next lever all the way open once again i'm going up about an inch this time not actually not an inch like a half inch you know you don't want to go too up high so I'm just going back once again. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to make it as neat as possible. And I forgot to mention, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do right now, please, because the more interesting content are coming soon. I know I've started wave, so I'm gonna have wave check soon. All right. So right now, next, because he has a short hair on the top, so I'm putting on number three guard lever halfway close right so it's not fully closed but not also fully open and i'm just like flicking out trying to blend in the fade on top of his hair so i'm using like the sideway method you know i'm you know tilting my clippers on the side using the corner just like flicking out the line so that's what i would do try to blend in the top first Okay, so right now is something that I'll do it differently from like every haircuts I've given before is that I'm gonna attack from the bottom line first instead of fading down or you know create first guideline and erase the first guideline, create the second guideline and erase the second guideline. I'm just like mixing a little bit of both. The reason why I like to create all the guidelines first and attacking the bottom line first and then next up is because I know how much I'm going up for it, like how much hair I'm taking out so that I don't have to take up more than enough or cross this next guideline. So this time I'm closing up the lever all the way, no guard, flicking out the line, trying to erase the line and I'll, I'm opening up the lever as I'm going up but also at the same time I keep track of the next guideline so that I don't have to cross the line at the end. So I think I found that this is very easier and kind of better way I think so I don't have to you know make it take off too much hair at the end
Okay, so like I mentioned, next one I'm attacking the second guy line with 0.5 guard, lever halfway open, and I'm just using flicking out motion, you know, just to blend that line as well. But also, like I mentioned, I don't want to go cross the third guy line. So I know how much line or how much hair I'm taking out. So I think this is super dope. Okay, now we're left with the third guy line, as you can see it right here. So that's why I'm putting on number 1.5 guard lever all the way open and close up as I need it. And I'm just using my flicking out motion with my wrist to, you know, complete the blend. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or anything at all, leave a comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. I'll be willing to answer. I'll be willing to talk to anyone that approaches me. So don't worry about it. I got you. And I know it's always nice to end with the detail work. So I'm putting on number one guard and I'm just working on the detail work. And this is this is just like every other haircut, you know. All right, so right now I'm just using my trimmer to, you know, line up his hairline and also like the beards as well. And I'm gonna drop soon like how to line up hairline tutorial. So stay updated, guys. Alright, so my boy Abdullah from Pakistan walk into my store looking like this and boom, this is the cut. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I hope to see you very soon. Peace. Thank you.